I have recently made a massive life change. My entire life, I have lived in major cities, but recently I decided to move to a tiny mountain town with a population of only 2,000 people. I have always loved being a city kid, so why did I decide to move to the middle of the mountains? Part of the reason is access to places like this trail behind me. So in this video, I'm gonna take you on a hike. Already so beautiful! Oh my gosh! And also show you a little bit more of the town where I live and the surrounding area. There's a lot to look at. <laughs> and let you know what you can expect from me and the channel this year. Oh, and I'm also gonna do a polar plunge. <laughs> because it just feels like an appropriate thing to do. I feel alive! <laughs> With that, let's go hiking! This is my show, gosh darn. Little camera reception here really fast. Look who's here with me. Abby and Rainer. You can't even see Abby's face. You're just behind the camera. The whole crew together. So the hike that I am on right now is called Icicle Ridge and it is just a few miles outside of downtown Leavenworth, Washington, which, if you can probably guess, is the town where I have moved. Leavenworth, Washington is a massive tourist town. There's like a number of Hallmark movies that have been filmed here, but it's a very tiny residential town. So living here year round is a very different experience than coming to visit. Onward. Look at this running water. It has been unseasonably warm. Typically this would be inaccessible or only accessible by snowshoes, but because it's been so warm, we're actually able to hike this in only micro spikes. It's quite pretty though. Look at this! Wow! Look at that! Golly, I love the mountains. So like how you were like, golly! Did I say golly? Golly, look at this view, Pat! I, I, <laughs> I don't think I said golly. I feel like I said like, like, oh wow, or like something cool. And I was like, this view's lit. Golly's what you said, I didn't say golly. Golly, I love the mountains. So you can kind of see up there where the trees break. Once we get up there, we should have a pretty decent view of the surrounding area. You can see down here how far we've come up on these long switchbacks. Is Rainer just like creepily in the back of the frame? He's like right now framed out, but there he is. Wow, look at, he says I'm the weird one. <laughs> so much up. Ah, this grass just looks like hair. I feel like we're like walking on a bald patch. And there's like a toupee all around us. Moss, Vic, Moss, Kate Moss. Mushy splashy, muddy puddle. Isn't a mud buddy like a sexual thing? A muddy buddy? Yeah. It's like peanut butter chocolate chip sticks. What are you talking about? We're about three quarters of the way to the top of this ridge line, but even from right here, we have this incredible view of the surrounding valley. One of the main reasons that I opted to move here was access to trails like the one I'm on right now. Last year, when I first launched the channel, around this time, I really struggled with being able to get out of Seattle to go hiking. Either the weather was really terrible in the mountains or the pass is closed and I couldn't get there. And it just was kind of a, a challenge for me, especially with launching the channel and just trying to like, get my feet under me. So this year I decided I wanted to be a lot closer to places to recreate and really be able to kind of immerse myself in the outdoor lifestyle that I'd always wanted. All right, let's go. Sweat drops down my back. Ah, oh, hike, hike, mother It's a good spot to pee. So this is a new pee funnel that I got from Human Gear. It folds flat and like packs into this little pocket. You like unfold it and then it snaps together like this and then you like hold this against yourself and then you pee yeah it's actually pretty awesome my current pee arrangement is that i'm wearing my nara pants which have a zipper that goes like through the crotch then i have this thing here which is my uh pee funnel on this little carabiner i also have my cool cloth and some hand sanitizer all right we have peed onward we go wow beautiful Gosh, it's like spring. We made it. Welcome to the top of Icicle Ridge. Well, not quite the top. We got a little further to walk that direction. And then we have a really epic 
and beautiful view of the valley surrounding the town where I live. Shall we kids? Living in a small town. You know? Pretty good spring scene. That's spring scene? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Oh my gosh! Oh! Bring it all the way to the end! So this town behind me is the tiny town of Leavenworth, Washington. There's actually a major highway that goes through Leavenworth and that's basically the center of town. And my house is right in downtown Leavenworth, just a few blocks off of the main street. Hikes like this one that I'm on right now are abundant surrounding Leavenworth. So you can see these mountains around me are just loaded with some of the most beautiful hiking in the state, maybe even the country, maybe even the world. <laughs> these mountains surrounding me are the Cascades, and these are often referred to as the American Alps. Because these mountains have gotten that nickname, the town of Leavenworth, Washington has adopted a bit of a theme. You'll see what I mean when we get down there. Gosh, y'all, today is like the perfect day up here. This could so easily have been completely socked in. We wouldn't have been able to see these views, but I'm so psyched that I got to bring you all up here. You can see this incredible, gorgeous view. I feel like moving out to Leavenworth for me marks a really big change in my life. But the reason that I moved out here was not just to be closer to mountains, not just to have like better access to trails, but also because I was kind of ready for a change of pace. I feel like the past several years of my life have just been like, go, 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 go. I feel like I have spent a few years just searching for like the dream job, or searching for, you know, some sort of like purpose in my career and my work. Ever since launching my own YouTube channel and ever since like starting to make content, I have kind of felt like, okay, now I know exactly how I want to spend my time. So I want to give myself the space to do that. And for me, that meant moving somewhere where I had better proximity to nature. And yeah, it's like Leavenworth was just the perfect place. On to the funny little town of Leavenworth. It is uh, uh, a little bit silly. All right, back down we go. <laughs> Quick pause. This video is sponsored by Element Electrolytes. Element is a powdered electrolyte drink mix that comes in a wide variety of delicious flavors. Element has been one of the biggest and most consistent supporters of my channel, and I adore them. But not just because they sponsor me, but also because they help me battle things like migraines and muscle cramping and fatigue, which can be very common as a hiker and a backpacker. So many of you have actually tried Element and told me how beneficial it's been for you. You've shared your favorite flavors, but if you haven't yet tried Element, go ahead and go to the link below, which is drinklmnt.com slash Miranda Goes Outside. Place your order there and you will get your order as well as a sample pack of all of Element's amazing flavors. I am so thrilled that Element is continuing to support my channel because honestly, they and the product that they make is so great. All right, let's go. Welcome to downtown Leavenworth. If you look around and you see that it kind of looks like we're in the middle of a rural Bavarian village, then Leavenworth, Washington has done its job. This town actually used to be a mining town, but after the mining boom, it was really struggling. And a couple of genius people decided that in order to turn this defunct mining town into a tourism town, they would theme everything like a Bavarian village. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Everything was required to follow a very specific naming and like lettering and style theme. Leavenworth gets really snowy in the wintertime and it has come to be known as Christmas Town USA. We actually literally have a store called Kris Kringle, which is a year round Christmas shop. There's all these lights that are up right now. It just like kind of fully immerses itself in the vibe of being holiday festive tourism wintry Alpstown, 
but rather than actually being out in the Alps, it is instead at the base of the Cascade Mountains, which you can see behind me. Cool, that's enough talking. Let's go check out Leavenworth. Cue oompa music. Okay, so um, just if you want to look over here, this is like a, a total tourist shop. It's like a t-shirt shop. Look at the little apartment above it with its little like, it's like not even a real balcony. That little uh, gazebo right there for the entire month of December had live music. Some good, some bad, just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> this place on the corner, the Nutcracker Museum, the line will go like out the door during Christmas. Tiny little restaurant on the corner here. It's called Munchen House and they sell sausages. They have like 35 different types of mustard and they have some of the best sauerkraut I've ever had in my life. I would just like get one sausage and like a beer and just pound free sauerkraut. No wonder you're so forty all the time. <laughs> 35 different mustards is 35. like the world's worst Baskin Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, do you want to take a moment to appreciate the murals? There's almost too many murals. You can't like look too hard at the murals here. I think this is Hansel and Gretel over there. And then I think in the middle is supposed to be Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. But it kind of looks like they painted six dwarves and then realized they counted wrong and like added another dwarf. Just like tacked it on. So you have seen downtown Leavenworth. I've taken you on an awesome hike. We have one last thing to do in one of my very favorite places. I wanted to bring you out to one of my very favorite places that's just half an hour from town, and that is Lake Wenatchee. This is like, in my opinion, one of the most gorgeous places, and it is so close to home for me now. Are we ready? Is it time? And that, folks, is all the news from Lake Wenatchee. Cinderella. Thank you, my friends. <laughs> Heed. <laughs> yay, yay. Okay, so I had planned on wrapping this video up at the brewery, but there was really loud music playing in the background. So instead, I have brought you home to my house to share a few final thoughts. At the beginning of this video, I told you I would share what you can expect from me and the channel this year. So this year, what you can expect from me is some of the most exciting and longest backpacking trips that I have ever filmed on this channel, more regular weekly videos, and a lot more of the crew, because I know that you all like seeing Rainer and you like seeing Abby in my videos. The biggest thing that you have told me is that you want more consistent weekly videos. And I totally get that. I wanna be able to show up for you every single Sunday so that you know that you can come to my channel and get a new Miranda Goes Outside video. This is my second year as a full-time independent YouTuber, and this year I'm just excited, and I feel like I'm just getting started. So if you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button, you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell, and I will see you outside. Bye! <laughs> you un- <laughs> <laughs> Did it splash at all? <laughs> Did I splash ya? A little bit. Actually, oh yeah. yes. I'm oh, sorry. Did I fog your lens? Ooh, You're making it there. worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the the mud from your <laughs> from my shoes. Yeah. It's not on the lens, it's in the I'm gonna have to clean it. Along the crevices. <laughs>